to mark its 130th anniversary. Oslo-based cruise and ferry company Hurtigruten Norway has released its concept of the eco-friendly cruise ship of tomorrow. Called Sea Zero, it would use a raft of new technologies, including battery-powered propulsion and artificial intelligence, for zero-emission marine travel. Despite the heavy impact of the recent pandemic, cruising remains a remarkably popular pastime, with an estimated 31 million passengers embarking on 302 ships this year. Unfortunately, most of these vessels run on heavy diesel fuel and can have a significant negative impact on the environment, especially when they operate in confined waterways like fjords or sensitive regions like Antarctica. To reduce this impact, Hurtigruten Norway is looking to develop a sustainable zero-emission cruise ship to operate along the Norwegian coast by 2030 and eventually replace the company's entire cruise fleet. With a projected length of 443 feet that will carry 500 passengers in 270 cabins, along with a crew of 99, C0 looks like an updated version of an Art Deco ship that escaped from the drawing board of a 1930s industrial designer. Its streamlined hull conceals three retractable 164 feet sails with a total surface area of 8,073 square feet to augment the shore-charged 60 megawatt-hour batteries that power the ship. In addition to providing clean propulsion, the autonomous sails are equipped with 16,146 square feet of solar panels. Not quite as visually spectacular are the air lubrication, advanced hull coating, and proactive hull cleaning systems that reduce drag and increase efficiency as the C0 slips through the water. However, if some passing flounder is curious about the state of the ship's batteries, there's a charge level indicator mounted outside the hull. Other technical features include contrarotating propellers and multiple retractable thrusters, but the party piece is the artificial intelligence system installed on the bridge that gives it a layout more like an aircraft cockpit than the control center of a 20th century transatlantic liner. This not only reduces the personnel needed to operate this ship, it can also learn the peculiarities of Norwegian ports, taking some of the burden off the harbor pilots. Because a cruise ship is essentially a floating hotel with the accommodations consuming 50% of the available energy, Hurtigruten Norway has designed the passenger areas with a new ventilation system and will provide the passengers with an app to monitor their power and water consumption to reduce energy use in that area by half. Since Hurtigruten Norway is a cargo company, the C0 will be able to carry freight and a large number of cars as well as passengers. The project will concentrate on technology development for the next two years, with an emphasis on battery production, propulsion technology, hull design, and sustainable practices that reduce energy consumption.